The Winter Resolve 20 just redefined what is possible in post-production. This update brings two kinds of groundbreaking improvements. One driven by powerful AI tools that automate and accelerate your workflow, and the other classic core updates that give colorists, VFX artists, and editors more control to work with. More control, speed, and creative freedom than ever before. If you're still using Premiere or Final Cut, this is your wake-up call, because Resolve is officially leading the game now. I'm going to take you through one of my favorite tools that DaVinci Resolve 2020 introduced. DaVinci Resolve 20 is still in the public beta. It's not the final release, so that means it still might have glitches or problems in there. So make sure to back up your projects properly before you open up any project. Once you open up any project, it's going to ask you to upgrade to version 20, which you cannot downgrade to 19th version. First up on the list is the dedicated keyframe editor on the edit page. This is something that editors have been begging for. This isn't just a small drawer, it's a full curve-based animation system. It honestly feels like now After Effects is built into your edit page. You can adjust position, scale, rotation, opacity, speed, and even custom effects without ever leaving the edit page. It's precise, clean, and honesty. It changes how we animate inside Resolve. Next up on the list is Magic Mask version 2, which is much more precise than the older version, and it also has a brush tool now. Magic Mask version 2 is only available in the color page right now. Instead of drawing strokes, now you can just select points and add that to your selection. Once that is done, you can turn it to better and track it. What's really amazing is that after tracking, if you find some frames that have problems in them, you can use the brush tool to add or subtract things using the brush tool. Next up, we have AI animated subtitles. You could create the automatic subtitles in the studio version before, but now the subtitles got a fancy upgrade where you can now highlight the specific words that are being spoken, and then you can use any templates from the titles to put them as a subtitle. So to create subtitles, you put in in and out points, and you go to timeline, AI tools, and create subtitles from audio. Once the subtitles are created, you can simply now go into the titles, and there's a new section called animated. You just select anything that you like, just like word highlight, you bring that directly onto the subtitle track, and now it's gonna highlight the words that are being spoken in there. Or if you want something else, you can just drag that and put that onto the subtitle track, and this is how it's being animated word to word. Next up on the list, we have AI voice changer. Let's say you recorded something and you don't wanna put in your own voice over there, or probably you wanna convert your voice into a female voice or a female voice into a male voice. It is just one click away and it has a few options for the voices to choose from and it also is pretty amazing. Another test. We're sitting in a car, the AC is running and there's a hum. Other test. We're sitting in a car, the AC is running and is a uh, humming around in the car also. On the test, we're sitting in a car, the AC is running, and there's a uh, humming around in the car also. Next up, we have AI detect music beats. Now, you don't have to spend a lot of time finding out the right beat points to sync your footage to. If you want to sync your footage onto beat points, it's just one single click away where it gives you markers on the audio track itself. And now you can place your footage very easily. It saves up a lot of time, I suppose. Another cool feature that we have is the vertical video layout, where you're working on shorts or short form content. Now you can have a bigger view of your vertical content. I know it had been a hassle to view the vertical form content. If you wanted to make it bigger, the timeline got squeezed up. Now it's much better and it is there in all of the pages. Next up, we have AI Music Editor. It lets you extend the length of your music track to perfectly match your edit without any awkward loops or manual cutting. Using AI, it analyzes the music's beats, rhythm, and then gives you four seamless versions to choose from. No looping, no cutting, it's fast, musical, and incredibly useful for time-sensitive edits. Next up, we have voiceover palette. Now you can record voiceovers directly in the edit or cut pages, saving a lot of time. Initially, you had to go into Fairlight to do all of that stuff, but having it inside of edit page makes it much easier to do your voiceovers. AI Multicam Smart Switch. 
Smart Switch in multicam mode uses AI to detect speakers and auto switches angles in real time. This is perfect for podcasts, interviews, or multicam shoots, saving you hours of manual cutting. Let's be honest, Resolve 20 isn't just an update, it's an evolution. If you're still on Premiere or Final Cut, now is the time to move. From indie creators to full-blown studios, this is the platform to grow with. Subscribe, comment your favorite feature below, and I'd love to make a dedicated video on one of these features in the future. See you.